Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a get ready with me. I'm getting ready for a night on the town. So I'm going to be showing you my hair, makeup, and the outfit at the end of the video. So be sure to stay tuned for that. So if you guys would like to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. To start off this look, I'm priming my eyes, and you guessed it, I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Eden, because it's the best thing ever. The next step is to tape up the corners of your eyelids, and this will just kind of make it easier to get that cat eye look without having to shape it and all that jazz. For this look, I decided to go with my Sigma Warm Neutrals palette, and I'm taking balance, and I'm going to apply this right to the front portion of my lid. So I'm avoiding my outer V, my outer lid area. I'm just working this into the front part of my lid, and I'm applying it with my finger, and really just packing on that pigment. And on the outer part of our lid, we're applying Dove, and I'm applying that right with my finger, and I'm going to blend it into balance so it goes kind of gradiently from light to dark, and it's just going to give our eyes a nice pop and kind of make them look a little bit larger. For my transition color, I'm using Cozy, and this is just the perfect kind of warm brown color. It's nice and matte as well as you know. I hate shimmer in the crease, so it's a nice matte color. So apply this with a big fluffy blending brush right in the crease and just buff that out. Starting on the outside and working your way in. Now with a more tapered blending brush, I'm using Russet, and I'm going to apply this right into my outer crease, and then just working that in as well. We want the darkest part to be on the outside, and we want it to gradiently fade into the lighter, so I'm applying most of the color on the outside, and then just running whatever's left of my brush through the inner part of my lid, my crease, ugh, whatever. <laughs> To rid our look of any harsh lines or kind of brighten everything up, I'm using Oyster Sand and I'm applying this right underneath my brow and just working that over any lines that you see. My pet peeve is when you see the crease end, I love to see it just gradiently blend up into a nice light shade, so we're just going to work on that and kind of blend out any harshness. Well, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> Go ahead and remove that tape. And now it's time to line those lids. So I'm using my Wet n Wild Fergie Edition Gel Eyeliner, and this is my favorite gel eyeliner. It's just like Max Black Track. It's amazing. So I'm gonna use this with an angled brush, and just apply this to my lash line as close as I can get to it, and wing that baby out so it's nice and dramatic. Don't forget to prep your lashes with some mascara on your upper and lower lashes. We're gonna put falsies on later, but I forgot to do them just yet, so. For my foundation, I'm using MAC Studio Fix, and I'm applying two different colors because I'm kind of right in between my shades. So I'm using NW20 and NC15, and I'm just kind of dotting that all over my face, and then I'm going to blend it out with my Sigma Kabuki brush and just, you know, blend away. Make sure you bring it all the way down your neck because otherwise you look like you have a mask on your face, and that's not a cute look. So I just discovered my love for the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Have you guys ever tried it? Because I have been using it like every day because it's amazing. So I'm applying that in a triangle shape underneath my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, and on my chin. And I'm going to pat it in rather than rub it because when you rub it, it's just dispersing all of that pigment all over your face. You're not really getting it right where you need it. So pat it rather than rub it so you can get that full coverage look. And of course we can't forget to powder over that concealer so we don't get any nasty creases. So I'm applying some translucent powder by Essence to avoid all that jazz. I say jazz a lot. Yeah. And I feel like in every tutorial I've been using the same thing to contour with, but I just love it so much. So don't judge me, but I found my little lover for this year. So <laughs> it is my Black Radiance Rich Mahogany um, Powder Foundation. And I use that as bronzer because I have white butt skin. So white butt skin, that's nasty, but you know what I mean, white as butt skin. <laughs> so I am just going to apply this in the hollows of my cheek, on my forehead, and on my jawbone, and just buff everything in with a big fluffy brush. I just, it's so like easy to blend, and it's nice and matte, and it's not too orangey, so I just love it. It's pretty amazing, yeah. 
I decided to go with something a little bit more dramatic for my brows this time, so I'm using the Sigma Gel Liner in the color Toasted, and a little tiny bit of this goes a long way. I learned this the hard way, so really just barely touch your brush in it, and it will be really amazing and start. Now I'm going in to contour my nose. I don't particularly have a really large nose, but um, you know, I love the look of a contour nose in photography and in my videos, so lately I've been using Taupe from the Lorac Pro Palette, and I find this is the perfect shade for my skin tone to contour with, so just kind of outlining that shape. If you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial of that, then let me know. Heading back up to the eyes, I always do this stuff after my foundation. I do my under eyeliner, which is actually going to be Warm Stone from the Warm Neutrals palette from Sigma. And I'm just going to apply this from the outside, working my way in. Feel free to smudge it out as much as you'd like. I just kind of did the minimal because I don't really like that super smoky look on me. I look like a like, crack addict or something, so I'm just kind of um, using this with caution. And now I'm applying my false lashes to give myself an extra little pop, but feel free to skip this step. Usually I don't wear this on a day-to-day -day basis, but for the video purpose, I feel it's necessary. For the lips, I decided to do something a little bit more dramatic. I'm using NARS Tear de Fuey, and I'm just going to apply this to my lips, obviously. Um, I love the fact that it's matte. I'm really obsessed with matte lipsticks this year. What is your guys' favorite matte lipstick? Because I'm on a search for some new ones, so if you have any favorites in mind, let a sister know. And there we go, our makeup portion is all done. Let's go ahead and move on to the hair section. So let's go ahead and clip up the top portion of our hair, and I am going to clip in some extensions today. I'm using my Be <laughs> Bellamy Bellissima, that's kind of a tongue twister, hair extensions, and they are 22 inches, I believe. I'm doing this for thickness. Don't feel like you have to do this. You absolutely don't have to. I just wanted to make a statement. statement. Can I talk today? I cannot talk. That's exciting so I want to make a statement with my hair so I want to add a little extra thickness so feel free to skip this stuff if you want to and now it's time to add some texture to our hair when you're back combing your hair heavily it's all about adding texture I learned this in the past couple years and my hair has been bigger than ever so um, apply this right to your roots and really work it in I did it all over my crown area but I didn't want to bore you so I didn't show you and now I'm just gonna back comb the top portion kind of in a mohawk section so starting at the front and just working your way back you know back comb as big as you want it to be if you want it to be freaking huge make it freaking huge if you want to make it to be a little bit smaller then make it a little bit smaller Once you back comb the whole mohawk section on the top, do the sides a little bit too so it's even. We don't want to have a big top and then really, you know, flat sides because it looks really weird. So make sure you get your sides too. The next step is to kind of push everything backwards away from your face and you're going to look really, really weird. <laughs> you might want to dance about it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, comb everything backwards and we're going to just clip our bang area just clip it down with a bobby pin. You know, make it as big as you want. You can really push it down too. I want a little bit of volume in the front though. The next step after you clip your bang area back is to take a portion of hair behind your ear and lift it up high like I am right here and just twist it. And then we're gonna bring it across our head like a headband. Yeah, and make sure that everything is as smooth as you'd like it to be because once you clip it, it's going to stay in place like that. So smooth everything out as you go and twist it over and you're going to pin it on the other side underneath your other ear. And then take a portion of your hair behind your ear on the other side, twist it upwards and clip that on the opposite side as well. And it's really as simple as that. I mean, your look is pretty much complete. You just want to make sure that everything is smoothed out and teased up. If you find a side is flatter than the other side, then back comb that a little bit. So it's all about just kind of working at it and making sure that everything is even and as big as you'd like it to be. And our hair portion is done. Let's go ahead and move on to the outfit. Alright guys, let's talk about the outfit. So I got my skirt and my shirt from Windsor and I just am obsessed with both of them. I showed it in my previous haul that I just posted and I think it's the perfect look for a night out. Speaking of perfect, I'm talking about this jacket. I got this from Fevery and I am just obsessed with it. It's so well made and it just tapers so well to the body. It's amazing. My clutch is from 
Um, actually, it's from Goodwill. I want to add a shiny clutch for a little bit of texture to the outfit. And my shoes, which you can't really see in this, but there's nice black pumps. They're from DSW. So that is it for my outfit and the look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.